Hello there, welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review. When I reached 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel just last month, I gave away my Levin 325 to thank my subscribers for their support. I really loved that Levin 325. But I consoled myself with the knowledge that I had already ordered a pen to reward myself for three years of hard work searching for the right, that's what she said, cutaway. No! and fending off YouTube trolls. Huh? I, I don't know that. Well, well, you have to know these things when you're a king, you know. I gifted myself this new Leonardo Momento Zero Grande 2.0 in Stardust. I already have this 2021 Dutch pen show MZG in Jonathan Brooks Earth Magic 2, but this Stardust MZG is the new 2.0 model that has some very interesting changes. Let's compare these two gorgeous giant piston fillers right now. <laughs> So it never rains but it pours here. This is the fourth unboxing I've done just today. Uh, I ordered this pen on Fountain Pen Day from Applebaum back in November. That would have been November 3rd. Here it is December 10th and it's in my hands. DHL, extortion to your door. So lift to open, press to close. Let's just rip to open. Here's our nondescript box. That contains another box. And some Stroop waffles. And a nicely wrapped box from Apple Bomb. They always do such a lovely job. A shame to rip it up. And here we are, Momento Zero Grande 2.0. So I wasn't planning on getting a MZG2, uh, but when Fountain Pen Day came around and the discounts came around, well, I couldn't resist it. Lovely box. They always do such interesting packaging. Slide that cover off. Let's see. Now it opens. Oh, it's a clamshell. There we go. International guarantee with all of the interesting stuff. Oh, well, there's Cyril Matroni, and there's the man himself. Hard at work, hardly working. Ooh, beautiful pen. And these new nibs. Instruzione per il reprimento del pistone. I don't know. I am Italian. Sono italiano in spirito, ma ho esposato una donna che preferisce lavorare nel giardino a far l'amore appassionato un spallo grande. But it's such an ugly language. And there is the pen. You take the Leonardo out of its condom. And there it is. This is the Leonardo Momento Zero Grande 2.0 and it is in the color Stardust. Look at that. That's incredible. This is number 186. But that's the new nib from Leonardo with their new design. So they're being made in-house now. Beautiful, beautiful pen. Here is a Momento Zero in blue Hawaii. You can see the difference in size. One more pass. Can't wait to ink this up and try it out. The Momento Zero Grande 2.0 in Stardust. And what I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons, some measurements, and then provide a writing sample. After the writing sample, please stay tuned as I will talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. And I want to focus on the changes between the original style MZG and the new 2.0 style MZG. Some differences are subtle and others are not. 
But let's take a moment to admire the acrylic resin on both of these pens. Beauty Pass, look at that. Isn't that incredible? It's almost as beautiful as the Brooks Earth Magic 2, which never fails to hypnotize me every time I use it. Look into the hypnotic eye. Beautiful acrylics. And the Brooks resin is one of the most stunning acrylics I've ever seen. But this Stardust acrylic on the MZG2 is just incredible. It's reminiscent of an Aurora Borealis, or for its namesake, a nebula photo from the James Webb Telescope. It is as spectacular as the implosion of the Stardust Hotel in Las Vegas in 2007. And these are big pens. Here is the Momento Zero Grande 2 with a Pilot Metropolitan. No, I'm just teasing. That's not a Pilot Metropolitan. <laughs> but still, it dwarfs the Metropolitan. Big pen. And that's all I use the Metro for anymore. Size comparisons. Well, at least they're good for something. Would you like some aloe vera? You just got burned. <laughs> so let's put these two pens together. I mean, they look identical, but for the finish and the cap bands. But the cap band on the Dutch Pen Show uh, was a special thing anyway. The caps are identical in size and shape, and the clips are the same. But the cap threads are different, so they won't swap with each other. The barrels are the same thickness, uh, but the MZG2 is about 3 millimeters shorter than the original MZG. And when posted, the MZG2 is also about 3 millimeters shorter. Both pens uncap with about one turn to reveal some of the not so subtle changes. The most obvious is the ink window on the MZG2. One of the biggest bugaboos about the Momento Zero Grande and the Ferrari Grande is a lack of an ink window, especially on a piston filler where the section won't come off and the piston filler mechanism isn't removable, which is the case on my Ferrari Grande Smaraldo make cleaning the pen very very difficult so this is the big upgrade for the mzg2 the ink window is large and clear but salvatore has also redesigned the section some may appreciate this others may not i'm in the latter camp i really like the milk bottle shape on the original mzg as you can tell when i line up all of the pens i have with this shape from left to right we have the mgg brooks the ferrari Grande Smeraldo, a Momento Zero Blue Hawaii, a Momento Zero Perunia, a Ferrore Galaxy, a Ferrore Assault, a Moonman M800 Galaxy, a Moonman M800 Emerald, and a Moonman M800 Amber. So yes, I like this section design. The new MZG2 has a more conventional section design that is more along the lines of a Mont Blanc 149 section. I don't own a Mont Blanc, but I have measured one to compare with my Jinhao X159, and the X159 is virtually identical to the Mont Blanc 149 section. So let's look at these together. The MCG2 is longer, of course, but you can see the barrel shape, the girth, and that small flare at the end are very similar. They are both around 12 millimeters at the top and about 13 millimeters at the bottom of the sections. So if you like the Mont Blanc 149 grip, this is similar to how that pen feels in the hand. Then we have the nibs. My Brooks MZG is an 18 karat gold nib with the Dutch Pen Show logo engraved on it and has an ebonite feed. The MZG2 is a steel number six size nib but it does have another major difference. This is made in-house by Leonardo and has the new Leonardo design roll stamped into it. Let's look a little closer at this nib. We see a very attractive sunburst radial pattern on the top and the bottom of the nib. Then the Leonardo wings, Leonardo Italy, and the size, in this case, a medium. The radial pattern is reminiscent of the pattern on my Visconti Mirage which is also a steel nib. Both nibs and feeds are friction fit, and the feed on the MZG2 steel nib is plastic. If you get a gold nib, 
in this pen it would be an ebonite feed just like that one which is also made in-house by leonardo both pistons are identical and removed with the available machined steel leonardo wrench that makes cleaning these pens much easier the cap posts deeply and securely making it a fairly long pen but it is three millimeters shorter and slightly better balanced posted than the original mzg that three millimeters does make a difference the pen is very comfortable in the hand and plenty long enough to write with unposted it is a substantial pen in the hand in terms of girth and it really does fill your hand i have medium sized hands so those of you with bigger mitts will appreciate the added girth here i bought this pen from apple bomb for $230.30 Canadian or $172.34 US. I got it for 20% off because I bought it during the fountain pen day sale on Apple Bomb. This pen is currently selling for $275.20 US. So it pays to shop around, folks. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the Leonardo Momento Zero Grande 2.0 Stardust with a Ranga 4C ebonite a Majon c4 eyedropper a jinhao x159 and an opus 88 bella now let's look at them posted and here they are posted the leonardo and the x159 jinhao are the only two that really post successfully the ranga the Majon, and the bella are all very long when they're posted now let's look at them unposted and here they are unposted these are very big pens indeed. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing sample portion of the review. This is Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper and this is the Leonardo Momento zero two point zero and it has a number six size medium steel nib. Let's check the wetness. The nib is nicely wet and the nib is glassy smooth with almost no feedback whatsoever right out of the box no fuss no muss it just writes the way pens of this caliber should write and the ink today is also leonardo it is leonardo turquoise and here is the leonardo turquoise on tomoe river paper and it has a reddish sheen to it and a nice shading to it uh, turquoise and blue green and teal inks like this don't behave well on camera they tend to look more blue uh, than they really are in person but here it is with the leonardo smeralda which is greener than the turquoise and here it is with lamy turquoise they're very very close the leonardo turquoise and the Lamy turquoise I'd say the Lamy turquoise is a bit brighter than the Leonardo nice ink and as to line variation uh, you can push a little bit out of this steel nib as the nib is just slightly bouncy which is very pleasant now this nib makes a horizontal line which is 0 0.5 millimeters in thickness and a vertical line which is 0 0.6 millimeters in thickness which is very interesting it gives you a little bit of line variation with no pressure whatsoever and it makes it a western between a fine and a medium and a Japanese medium based on my Richard Binder chart which you can also find linked in the description. And for our quote. It's more like it. 
and for some reverse writing. It's a bit scratchier and a lot drier is not flowing. And for some quick writing. This feed has no difficulty keeping up. This is a very, very pleasant wet pen. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? Well, what's not to like about this gorgeous, chatoyant, sparkly acrylic resin? It's just mesmerizing. And here's a fun fact. Did you know the term mesmerizing is derived from an 18th century Viennese physician named Franz Mesmer? He believed the body contained an invisible fluid that was affected by gravitational and magnetic forces. He treated patients by relaxing them into a trance-like state to unblock their precious bodily fluids. I can no longer sit back and allow communist infiltration and the international communist conspiracy to sap and impurify all of our precious bodily fluids. Hmm. Other than the beautiful look of this pen, there are a few other things that I really appreciate about it. The first is the fact that Leonardo, or more specifically, Salvatore Matrone, has continued to improve, refine, and re-energize his pen models. He's not just resting on his recent successes, but he continues to look for more ways to improve and reinvent his production. In an interview with Joost Applebaum, Salvatore teased a new model Leonardo that will be a lever filler. I'm totally intrigued by how he continues to look to the past to inform the future as he takes the concepts from the past and makes them modern. I can't wait for that lever filler. Leonardo is one of the best fountain pen makers in the world and they have products that are affordable as well. This Ferrore, for example. I think this is an overlooked, undervalued member of the Leonardo family. Beautiful pen, very affordable. I know I bought this pen during a big sale, but $172 US is a ridiculously low price for this pen. I like the new ink window. This was a serious drawback for the solid acrylic piston fillers from Leonardo. And I love the new in-house Leonardo nib. It is wonderful to see a pen maker taking responsibility for their own nibs. It is where the rubber hits the road. So leaving your reputation in the hands of a third party just doesn't make sense. And I'll soon be able to experience one of the new in-house Leonardo 14 karat gold nibs as I have a very special Leonardo on the way to me as we speak. I like that Salvatore has shortened the length of the MZG by about three millimeters. The pen now balances much better when posted. That three millimeters makes a big difference. That's what she said. I'm not unhappy with the new section, but I'm not happy that the milk bottle shaped section seems to have gone away. It still exists on the Momento Zero and the Ferrore models, but we don't see much new happening with those models of late. I will, however, be reviewing a special Momento Zero that has a very interesting new nib from Leonardo very shortly, so keep an eye out for that. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And please look in the description for a link to Goldspot Pens, as I'm now an affiliate of the online store, and when you shop at Goldspot using my link, you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra charge to you. You can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section, and you'll get cool emojis, badges, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote.